So yesterday on the show, I laid out kind of the strength of schedule for all these teams. Mm -hmm. And the Oilers will play in their final 17 games, 10 teams that have a 500 or better points percentage. Mm -hmm. The Kraken and Kings will both play 11 and the Golden Knights will play 13. And another interesting point, uh, if you look at the Oilers schedule in the last week or so of the season there, is when they're playing San Jose twice, Anaheim twice, those la that last week, is actually a double header head to head crack in Golden Knights. So that right there could be an interesting spot for the Oilers to maybe gain uh, some extra points. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. The head to heads is going to be massive. Yep. Um, they play LA in the last month. They play LA on the 30th of March as well. So two games against LA, two games against Vegas, and a game against the Seattle Kraken. That, th that's your, that's your seeding right there. If you play 500 in every other game, but you take care of those five, you're winning this division in all likelihood. Ooh, that's daunting. Even if you go, we got to make up one. what six points or six points to take over. Golden Knights lost the other day, so they're four back with a game in hand. Oh, there's a four back with a game in hand. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. I can win your head to head. Right Boom, let's go. Right? Boom, let's go. You heard it here. I, I am bullish on the Oilers just because of that strength of schedule. The head to heads are obviously going to be crucial. And are there also the Edmonton Oilers, Tyler? Well, yes, they are. We got at home now. We got Bukestad, who I'm warming up to. People say I'm I'm, I'm a hater. I'm, I'm warming up to him. Big ten dude. for ten in the faceoff circle. Yeah, that was that was impactful. And you know, I'm now actually starting to see him play. So mm -hmm. it's it's I like how he kind of fits in. And with Kane back, now we got like a legit solid top six. Zach Lang's in the comment section, and he says Tyler's looking happy today. Um, Liam and I had a great <laughs> chuckle before the show because. If you pay attention to the details of our set at the Sports Closet Studio, usually I have that fun picture of Wayne Gretzky behind me. Mm -hmm. Someone has taken it, first off. I would like to know where it went. And they've replaced it with this photo of me that Bag Milk likes to send out, <laughs> cheering on the Oilers. Oh, duck out. It is a fantastic photo. 